ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys once again for supporting my channel and stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole Jaleel Ade situation. So if you guys don't know, he plays for the Chargers. And basically this weekend, this video went viral. A lot of people were sending it to me. We posted on the Instagram page. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me at lovely tea 2002 So we posted the video. And so basically in this video, and he's with his white fiance, her name is Lindsay nelson and they're with a group of friends and so basically somebody says cheers to having more light-skinned kids jaheel is holding his one-year-old son zion and then jaheel and the rest repeat the same thing they start clinking their glasses so this video was just a damn trip y'all go ahead and check this out cheers to more light-skinned kids cheers to more light-skinned kids really do all right, so you guys just saw the video. So, of course, when the video went viral, people started dragging them all over social media. Him and the other NFL players that were in that video with him, they all made their page private. People who were friends of his on his page, they were confronting him. Then he ended up deleting the conversation altogether. But shout out to one of my tea sippers, Raleen, because she hit me up, she sent me a DM, she got all the screenshots of the conversation of Jaheel and one of his followers going back and forth. I'm gonna go ahead and read this to you guys. Go ahead and check this out. So this woman tags him and she says, JH, your friends are the reason some darker skinned women bleach and or kill themselves or have depression issues because of ignorant people that say things like that and take it as a joke. Be ready for the heat of social media. Hashtag get out. Hashtag black coons. Hashtag brainwash fools. So he replied back to her and he says, at Queen, first off, the toast came from making fun of a light-skinned friend out of sarcasm. The attention-hungry chick that took the video and twisted the narrative really has you on a stranger's page right now, like you know me. Then she replies back and she says, it's all over the blogs and people are in an uproar coming for y'all. Be prepared. By the way, the disgusting things we heard in that video, no one wants to know y'all. It's sad. That's why we can't get nowhere as a people because of dumb shit like this that black successful man does. Wonder how your mother feels. Then he says, no, we can't get nowhere as a people because people look for a reason to pounce on an individual you know nothing about. After I clearly told you exactly what it was, you still felt you had to comment to fit in and then go and announce what you did, LOL. One, I didn't make the toast. Two, no one said anything negative about the other skin tone or a person. Pure assumptions, LOL. Love you, God bless. Then she comes back and says, nobody said it was you, but the people around you. At the end of the day, nobody spoke up, so guilt by association. He says, nothing to be guilty of. Like I said, if you heard something derogatory, that's one thing. But you are literally doing exactly what every other person does to a black man in this country right now. Even after I told you exactly what happened, you are literally on my page confused because a random person posted a video and made their own false narrative. Take a step back and realize how crazy that is. Honey. All right, y'all just heard me read that damn bullshit, okay? So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. I'm glad I'm at least able to get that screenshot so that we can understand, you know, where the hell this came from. Why were they doing this stupid ass toast? He's saying it was a joke. Supposedly it was about a light-skinned friend. I'm not really buying that. And then I also saw people saying, well, if they were toasting the dark-skinned people, y'all wouldn't have shit to say. Y'all, you know, be all good. My thing is this. Why do we have to toast to any skin color? It doesn't make any sense. You know, colorism is definitely real, okay? Dark-skinned people tend to have the rough end of the shaft. But at the end of the day, why, why are we toasting the color? Light skin or dark skin, how about you just drink your damn drink? How about you toast to your health? How about you toast to your good fortune? How about you thank God for blessing you with everything that you have? 
You know what I'm saying? The whole situation is insane. And it's really sad because, again, a lot of this mentality comes from dark-skinned men. And it comes from men who date outside their race. Like I stated on my channel, I don't care who black men choose to date, black, white, Mexican, or other. That is your business. My issue is when you're dating outside your race, but then you're doing little slick shit to down your own race, okay? There's enough issues in our community with colorism. There's enough issues in the community with people, you know, feeling some type of way about themselves, black women and getting clowned, especially on social media, that this wasn't needed. It just sounds really sickening to say, you know, uh, let's toast to more light-skinned kids. How about you toast to having healthy kids? How about you toast that, you know, the next baby that you guys have has all 10 fingers and all 10 toes? You know, that's stuff that you toast to, not skin color. At the end of the day, I feel like that conversation, even though it was a supposed inside joke, it was a disgrace because a lot of the men that were at that table were dark-skinned, you know what I'm saying? They're all with white women, and then you you guys are talking about skin tone as if there's something wrong with dark skin. So let me get this right. It's cool for y'all to be dark skin as black males, you know what I'm saying? But God forbid that your offspring comes out that same color. At the end of the day, nobody can help how they're born, light skin, dark skin, and everything else in between. We need to teach people to embrace their skin color, no matter how dark it is, no matter how light it is. Love yourself for yourself and stop worrying about trivial things like skin color and skin tone. You know, so that video to me was very bothersome. He's claiming it's a joke, so you know, I read you guys what he had to say, but I'm not buying it. I think he's just saying that now because the video went viral and folks were coming for his neck so they had to think of something to say. And what some of these men don't realize is just because you're trying to, you know, breed out and basically erase your DNA, you know what I mean, and build the next generation of, you know, biracials, you need to realize that not all biracial kids come out light skin with, you know, curly hair, green eyes, or whatever the hell you're trying to manufacture. Some of those kids can come out just as black as you, okay? Ask Lance Gross, ask Reggie Bush. His his kids are really dark. Lance Gross's son doesn't even look like he has a drop of anything in him besides black. You know, and it's so funny because he tries to act like, oh, that, you know, he wanted his son to come out chocolate and look just like him. No, you didn't, Mushmouth. Miss me with the bullshit. If you want your child to come out chocolate and look just like you, you would have had a child with a black woman. So miss me with that. No, you were hoping that your child come out racially ambiguous, but this time your genes were a lot stronger than what you expected, so now you have no choice but to accept your chocolate baby, okay? And sometimes those same kids can take on your phenotype and your DNA. When you have children, it's a roll of the dice. You never know how they're gonna come out. You never know how their skin tone might come out, their hair texture, any of that stuff. You need to be prayerful and hopeful that your kids come out healthy and they're able to survive in this crazy world. That's what you should be cheering to, okay? Thank you. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey, concerning Jahil and the comments that him and his friends were making about having more light-skinned kids. Are you guys shocked by this? Are you guys tired of just seeing this continual colorism all over social media? And then are you buying what he's telling that girl on that Instagram back and forth? Do you feel like this is just a joke and folks are taking it too seriously? And then do you agree with me that, you know, even if he would have toasted to dark-skinned kids, that wouldn't have been okay either? Why even even bring up skin tone in a toast. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs>